I think the, the Archbishop Tutu, um, the arch as he called himself and was known by everybody, um, was unique above all because he was the person for the time. He was God's person in this extraordinary moment. He was someone who'd grown up in the townships. He had a profound sense of justice that came from his deep faith in Christ. He was a scholar. Uh, and at the same time, that sense of justice was translated both into actions, but also into his words. So he preached justice, he lived to justice. And that was combined in the most unusual way with a deep sense of forgiveness. And, and the fact that he and President Mandela were both in South Africa at the same time is what is so striking because they both had the sense of justice, they both had the sense of forgiveness. And most people aren't good at the forgiving side, but um, it, it was his faith in Christ that enabled um, uh, uh, the arch to forgive because he knew he was forgiven by God. His place in history, I think, ranks very close to that of President Mandela uh, as a figure who transformed his own country, but also set a pattern for the world. Um, I, I don't think one can be involved in conflict mediation um, or in dealing with wars and civil wars and disruption and disconnection around the world without always asking oneself, what would Desmond have done? I mean, he always teased one. Uh, he was so funny. But I think this is a memory I've shared, but it, I think it's the most striking for me. Um, was I went to see him in South Africa about three years ago. And he was uh, at his home and he was surrounded by his family. And there you saw someone who was the dominant figure in the room, but was hugely and powerfully human. And there was this deep humanity. You just come away thinking, oh, the world is a better place than I thought it was because he's in it. <laughs>